Like anything in life, there's a thin line between two completely different sides. In this case, I can see that line. On one side is a sturdy tree, and the other a flimsy branch just waiting to fall. All the while I'm watching, waiting for one to split from the other. Stupid tree. The ringing started again. How does it make you feel? I don't know. Annoyed. Just like everything else. I talked to the ear doctor. He said he couldn't find anything. He said nothing was wrong. Nothing. Like I was imagining it or something. How did your interview go last week? Good, I think. But so did all the other ones. I really need this job. The landlord came by last week. I asked for an extension. I think he understands. He's a sweetheart. But Jesus, how much longer is this going to take? I... I don't mean to interrupt, Mr. White. I'm afraid we're out of time. This message is for Mr. Philip White. This is Dick Smith from Brown and Browns. We met last week. Philip, we really appreciate you taking the time to come talk with us. Your resume is impressive. Unfortunately, the position you are applying for has already been filled. We will certainly keep you in mind if anything else opens up. Thanks again. I was going to give you till the end of the week to pay the rent. If not, well, we don't have any choices. I'm sorry. Kenny, are you, are you kicking me out? Look, look, my father feels terrible about this. I feel terrible about this. I mean, I'm, no ch I'm sorry, Phil. We have no choice. No choice? It's your fucking house. Look, get the money, Sam. Rob, rob, rob a bank. Dude, just, just please. Just, just the money, Phil. Please. Just, just get it. Fuck you. Thank you. 
I mean, 15 years I've known the guy. I've called him a friend. Just goes to show you can't trust anyone. Nothing is sacred. The only thing that matters is money. Do you really believe that? Is that really a question? What do you think you're going to do? <sighs> Damned if I know. Probably rob a bank. Is that serious? Obviously not. I've never done anything wrong in my whole life. You can ask my mother. You know, there are people in places that can help. I'll give you some numbers. Um, I know you've been having some hard times, Phil, but you have to look on the bright side. <laughs> There's more than one side to this. What was that? Look, I'm near my wit's end here. I don't know what to do or who to talk to. You know you can always talk to me. Let me buy you dinner. There's so much more I need to talk to you about. I hope that's not serious, Philip. You know we've talked about that before. I know, I know. I, I hate myself. But I just can't keep these feelings inside anymore. Isn't that what this is about? Letting my feelings out? I don't know what to say to that, but I'm cutting this session short. You should go. Hello, Philip. This is Dr. McAllister. It has come to my attention that a relationship as doctor and patient has been compromised. And so I no longer think that it is a good idea for us to work together anymore. Don't take this the wrong way. I care deeply about you, and so I referred you to my good friend, Dr. Stetson. He'll take excellent care of you. He'll call you tomorrow to arrange an appointment. Take care, Philip. Best of luck with everything.